Okay, so I selected the polygons and split those off by pressing UP. Select them all again. Do an inner extrude. Then delete those polygons. Select the edge and use the HB selection to circle script. Scale that down. Then use the HB even distribution script and the selection to circle script once more and then scale that down. Sometimes you've got to use this a couple of times to get this nice and even. Now the problem here, it's a bit lumpy and bumpy. So here I'm going to split off the same polygons and I'm going to use that split selection as a base for the shrink wrap deformer. You can see I've shrink wrapped the circle selection onto that selection of polygons and that gets rid of all the lumps and bumps. And collapse that down. You've got a pretty good looking circle there. Select the edges and just extrude that back, holding down the control key. Knife loop just to sharpen those edges. Select the outside ring and just control duplicate that with the slide tool. If you preview that, it's looking a little bit soft. So I have to adjust the points that run along that sharpened area. Just by making another loop cut. Just bringing those points in. Can't go right to the edge without changing the shape of the circle, but it's not necessary. Because from a distance, that's going to look fine. Select everything and join that all together by connecting objects and delete, and there you go. Just using the slide tool just to even out the topology a little bit. Next thing is to create the internal cylinder. And it's best to do this by selecting those internal polygons and splitting those off. Then using normal move and just moving those in a little bit to create a little bit of a gap. Selecting the edge and then just scaling that in. You can see it's not very even. Select that and split it off. And then once again using the shrink wrap technique to shrink wrap that onto those polygons so that it matches the rest of the geometry. There we go. Selecting those edges, scaling those back with the control key. MD to close the polygon hole. Select those polygons and MW inner extrude. And then HB make quads to make that quads. Scale that down to zero just to flatten that out. And select those edges and bevel in solid mode and then loop cut just to add a cut down there and looking pretty good probably needs to be pulled out a little bit and just add another cut there just to sharpen it up a little bit That's better. A little bit sharp on the bevels, just using the slide tool just to loosen that up a little bit. 
That's better. There we go.